What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at my Donatello action figure collection. So I have a good amount of Donatello, surprisingly. I don't know if it's more than Leonardo or not, but speaking of that Leonardo video, I just want to thank everyone for all the support on that video. I did not expect it to do that good. So yeah, obviously first off, uh, the Ninja Turtles were introduced in 1984 in the, for the comic The Mirage. Uh, is it Mirage? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Mirage studios and the comic books but i do not have any figures these are kind of based on the comic book figures or the comic book designs but they were also released for the show so yeah so the next thing would be the 19 like what 88 show so this is the original donatello i don't know if it's the original original because i know there's like soft head variations and all that but i really don't know too too much about all that but yeah this guy is pretty cool you know he looks really nice i really like Design and everything. He has a swivel at the head, swivel shoulders, um, duh, and swivel elbows there, slash forearms, and then just swivel hips. And he can only really get this pose because, you know, yeah, but he's really nice. I really like him. He's actually in pretty good condition. I really like the veins and everything on him. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. 1988 on there. So, yeah, I do have a good, decent amount of Donatello's from, like, this line or, like, this um time frame here's another donatello i don't know why i have two of these guys but i do um yeah you know he's, he's pretty cool i like him yeah there's not much he doesn't have his belt or anything it's just the same i don't know if one's older or one's newer or not i'm gonna try and get these guys to stand maybe hopefully and then next up i have a uh like a re-release of the donatello like, the Playmates made, like, this, I think I got this, like, in 2020 or something, or 2020, um, 1, or 2022 or something, maybe 2022, I'm not, I don't really remember, but I really don't like the quality of this, it looks really weird, the, the head feels weird, like, just the plastic feels really weird, and I, I genuinely don't really like it, but it looks alright, you know, me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get them, but, yeah, this guy wouldn't really stand, I don't really like them. I like the original ones better. And then we couple, we have a couple of wacky variations of Donatello. We have this firefighter Donatello. He's really cool. I really like the design. You know, the paint details are pretty cool and everything. TFD, Turtle Fire Department, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a really, really cool design. I, I like it. I, li I always like the different wacky variations that the Turtles had. And they still do sometimes, even with the Mutant Mayhem. And then we have this, um, I think he might have had an accessory or something in his hand. It says sewer spikers. So maybe like he's like a volleyball guy. But yeah, he does have this squirter on his mouth because you could fill this um, thing up with water. I never really tried it, but you could fill that up with water and then squeeze it. And you should spit out water, which is pretty cool. I, I like this one too. So yeah, that's um, pretty cool. So that's it for like all my, oh dang, he just fell. That's all for my cartoon variation, so let's move on to the 1990s movie. So the only figure I have for all three 1990s movies is the NECA one, the Walmart exclusive that came with, I think, Leonardo, I believe. Yeah, he's just really nice. His bow staff looks really good. He comes with different hands and a pizza and different bandanas as well, or one bandana, and he just looks so good. I always liked Donnie's face. He always had this, like, long nose, and I kind of always liked that about him. It looks pretty cool. The shell detail is really nice. Just everything is really, really nice about them. And I absolutely love these figures. They are absolutely amazing. I really love them. So, yeah, next up, that's just kind of it for this figure. Um, I'm not going to go too in detail or anything. So, next up would be Next Mutation. But I don't have any figures. Uh, I really don't like the show. It really sucks. And I could really care less for the figures. And then 2003 would be after that. And actually i have one figure i almost forgot about it so like i said in all my uh or not in all my in my other my leonardo video i have all the mech records and i do have donatello which is really really cool there's the figure inside he looks really really nice i really like the design of him he has some missiles up top he has his claw and his bow staff which we could take a look at this does spin and i think you can push it as well I'm, yeah, you can push it and spin it, but yeah, looks really cool, and he does have this claw here, which if you, I think if you push it, 
or pull it or something. Yeah, if you push it, it opens, but it really doesn't work. Um, yeah, like where I have him, like there's for some reason, I don't know if you can kind of tell, he's like a little wet right here. There's like condensation in my room. As you can see like right there, it's wet. Like, I don't know, it's just weird, but yeah, I just really like this, the design of this one. I really like the green and the purple just works really, really well together. And then, yeah. And then these do shoot. I could try and show that. Boom. Pretty powerful. You just twist that knob up there. And yeah, that's basically it for this guy. He's really, really cool. And the figure is poseable. He does have like um, poseable fingers and all that. As you can kind of see there. To grab onto these things. And these move as well. And then this opens up. I'm trying to hold the camera because it's going to fall. That opens up. And then this opens up to get a better look. At, at the figure as well so yeah that's it for this guy so let's move on well next would be the 2007 movie but i don't have i don't have the figures or any figures for that one so let's move on to 2012 all right so first up for 2012 is this the first rendition of donatello in 2012 and yeah this guy's missing an arm i've just always got him like this or had him like this i should say because i got him in a big facebook lot with a whole bunch of other stuff and yeah you know he's He's cool. He's the same. He's he's the same articulation as Leonardo and or everything. I I don't know. He's pretty cool. I wish I've had I had one with, you know, an arm and at least a bow staff. But I this is all I got, man. He's he's, he's pretty cool. I you know, I like him even though he's missing an arm. And then next up would be, the battle shell Donatello. I definitely much preferred this one. It just he looks really really cool. I really really like him. The details on him you know he doesn't have much details but i like him that he's a lot more show accurate um yeah he's just really cool i really like his show accuracy um there's his toes and everything they're a lot better than those ones and then the shell does open he has some stuff in here i've had this guy for a long long time yeah he's pretty cool one thing i like i used to like to do with donatello is get his bow staff and like put it in his hands and i'd have him like this and like i just kind of go like this and spin him I don't know, that was always kind of fun to do. Because, yeah, he, I don't know, it was fun. So, yeah, that's this guy. Let me get him to stand. There. He, yeah, sometimes with these battle show figures, their feet kind of aren't the most even. So, they're kind of, like, kind of wobbly. And then we got a really cool variation of Donatello. I forget these are called, like, the Stealth. I think they might be, like, Stealth Tech Turtles or something. Yeah, they got these flip-up visors, which look really, really cool. The head sculpt is pretty nice as well. A lot better than that head sculpt. And, yeah, I just really like this guy. I think I got this guy at a flea market. And, yeah, he's a lot more show accurate. They didn't really use this um, gear in the show. It's just for the toys. And, yeah, I really, really like it. He didn't come with any of his accessories. But I really, really do like this figure. It's a nice little rendition. They did make some for all the turtles, but I only have this one. And then we have... This Donatello, kind of like the Leonardo, if y'all seen that video. Um, it's kind of to look like um, this one here. It's supposed to look like this guy. You know, they did a pretty decent job with the pads and everything. Obviously, he's more of a 2012 look. And he does use this uh, mold, which, you know, I feel like they should have used a different mold or something. I don't really know. And then next up, we we have this guy. This Donatello. If you'll focus on him. Thank you. Yeah, he's pretty cool. You know, he has a nice head sculpt. Um, it's not the most accurate. He does have the gap in his tooth. Um, he has some nice armor plating on him. Pin details aren't the craziest, but yeah, what he his main mechanism was is um, I forget how this works, but um, so you get like it came with like rubber bow, a purple bow staffs, and then you go like this, and like well, you'd actually like roll him across, and then he'd uh, like throw him, but. Um, I never really messed with that that much. I also have a Raphael version of that one, I think. So, yeah. And then last for 2012, we have one of the... What are they called? I already forgot what they're called. Um, Mighty Mutants or something. Or I forgot what they're called. I genuinely don't remember. Half Shell Heroes. That's what they're called. This is like construction worker Donnie or something or... I don't really know. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. He's yellow, and he has his cool little hat and a little um, wrench there. I forgot what that's called for some reason. I can't remember. A lug wrench or 
or something. And then he has this little claw thing, which is pretty cool. I don't really know what it is. But yeah, that's it for 2012. I have a decent amount of like, um, what, like six variations, including this guy. And yeah, so that's it. So let's move on to the Michael Bay movies. So the only Donatello I have for the Michael Bay films is the one from Out of the Shadows. I didn't get the one from uh, the 2014 one. But honestly, I kind of like the 2014 design a little bit more. This guy, he, this Donatello has a lot more going on. Like, I know he came with headphones and his bow staff, but I somehow lost it somehow, and I kind of regret that. He came with a drone, too, I think. But yeah, he, he has a lot of nice details. He looks pretty good. Um, He has, like, a... I think that's supposed to be, like, an S SNES controller. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. He has a lot of cool details. GoPros and goggles and glasses. You know, he has a lot going on. A lot of it... A lot of his pants aren't really painted, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. And he has this cool backpack on him. You know, not much going on with this guy. He's pretty cool. You know, not one of my favorites. But, yeah, let's move on to, I guess, next would be Rise of the Team NT. So here's the first release for Rise of the Team NT Donatello. And I really actually do enjoy Donatello and Rise of the Team NT. He's kind of funny. He's pretty good at fighting as well. I just really like the design. He is a soft shell turtle, so he comes with his his mystic or mythic um bow staff, but it was never mythic. He kept his titanium bow staff. He didn't get a a magical weapon, but they did like do this powered up form of it, and it's pretty nice. And yeah, he just looks really really cool. I really like the design with all the pads. One cool thing, since he's a soft shell turtle, this drone is actually removable as well. But you can take this off. I'll try and show y'all. Um. You can take his whole shell off, and then there is his soft shell. Yeah, this just clips on. And you'll see some, later you'll see some cool variations of Donatello. Let me get his bow step back in his hand. You can get some nice poses with this guy because he has pretty good articulation with ball joint in the head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, swivel wrist, ball hinge thighs, and then ball hinge knees, and then ball hinge ankles. So really, really nice articulation. So there is this Donatello. Hopefully he doesn't fall over there. And then the next variation is the Battle Shell Donatello from Rise of the Team and T. He's a lot like his um sculpt is kind kind of almost more accurate in a sense, being more squared off because his head was like it was more it looked like this. It was a lot more square than this over here. But yeah, he kind of struggles with the same thing. He has massive knee pads massive elbow pads which just look really weird and then he has these like molded in molds that are supposed to be like painted here like they should just painted that like if they molded them in why they not just paint them but yeah he looks all right you know here's his weapon you know it folds up and everything it's a lot smaller and it's translucent the shell is not removable but it looks it looks decent enough it looks like you clip something on there but i really don't think you can and then there is his shell opening and then i think yeah that that thing broke actually the peg so i can't even peg this shirt in here so you just kind of lay it in there and yeah he's you know, he's, he's my least favorite donnie here i don't know about least favorite out of all of my donnies but at least for rise of the team and t he is my least favorite and his ankles are pretty weak as well so he does fall over a lot and the third variation here is the shell hog um donatello he's basically the exact same figure as this one just with a different head sculpt and i don't think this drone is removable actually so yeah but he does have this this, this cool helmet which the goggles are they can lift up and you can see his head sculpt is very similar to this one but yeah it looks pretty cool i really like that one he came with a whole shell hog as well and don't fall please and then next up, <laughs> we have the basically the SDCC exclusive Donatello. And this guy is basically all his paint details are a lot. They are basically show accurate, even up to the goggles on his head, which are really, really nice. There's little squares, or rectangles painted on his shoulder. The little screen thing he has. His bow staff is, is um, screen accurate as well with the silver here and the purple. And then the belt looks really, really nice. And yeah, everything just looks really, really good. A lot better than this figure. Same articulation and everything. Same mold. 
just uh you know yeah really really cool i really love this figure and yeah it looks really good and i gotta stand him up like so and then um this was just wave one and then these three were basically all for wave two that's when i got him when was in wave two because that's when i got enough pizza points and then we have this wave three version these this is actually a chase variation he is the same mold and everything as this donatello and he comes with a the powered up um bow staff but he one cool thing is since in the show he had a lot of different things for his show that he has a jetpack here and these stickers he actually applied and i didn't do the greatest but you know good enough it looks really really cool it does just attach and the actual show is a whole different color it's just a purple color so what you do is just press this button and the wings come out which is really really cool i really like him yeah he's pretty awesome a pretty cool variation and you can see that is a lot of donatelles already and we have one more for rise of team nt another chase very variant which is this one's really cool like he this is the spider arm one as you can see he has a whole bunch he has a wrench here a uh like a, what is this called like a lighter i think and then the bow staff which is um just a painted purple which is pretty cool and then all the paint details are the same and then his and then that's what the shell looks like and this is all articulated and removable and then his regular sh his hard shell is um like a silver look and that is almost that is all my donatellos i have from rise of the team and t and i'm gonna knock that guy over holy smokes his arms are so big okay he fell we're just gonna leave him like that but I am missing one Donatello from Rise of the Team NT, unfortunately, which is the one that came with the Us the the Usquito bike or something that captured the Usquitos. But I am missing that one, so that's it for me on this. I'm only missing one, so there is six here, and there's seven that came out in total. But yeah, let's move on to the last one, Mutant Mayhem. Then my last figure in my Donatello collection is the Mutant Mayhem version. So yeah, I really like this figure. His articulation is pretty good. The only thing I don't really like is just the swivel ankles. I wish there were ball-hinge ankles to help him stand a little bit better. Like, he stands all right, but sometimes um, they do fall over. But I really like the design of this guy. He has the glasses, which they are removable, as you can see. It's pretty nice, but I'll, I'll be keeping the glasses on. I think he came with headphones, too, as well, but um, I don't have them on him right now. And I can't get these glasses back on, unfortunately. There we go. Yeah, I didn't really like him too much in the movie. Um, he kind of, like, was a jokester. He wasn't even really smart at all. Like, I remember there's a scene where they were fighting what's the Superfly before he turned out big, like, in that the lab area or something. I, I can't really remember. There was a computer, and he, was, they, he didn't even do anything, which kind of made me a little annoyed. But, you know, it's whatever. And yeah, and Mikey wasn't really... He kind of took Mikey's role as a jokester, unfortunately. But yeah, he's, he can do this um, two-handed pose, which is essential for Donatello. He does have the thing, uh, the what is this called? The initial on the belt buckle there and a the phone and a fanny pack. So yeah, this figure is pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and get my final thoughts. So basically, here's this is going to be the thumbnail for the video. Really nice. We got a few different um, variations of Donatello here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.